In this video, we're gonna talk about using AI to relight your footage with Beeble. Real quick, you're watching BP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors, Blackmagic, View, and Lucidlink for helping make our NAB coverage possible. And now, back to the video. All right, so we're back here at Beeble. Good to see you again, Hoon. Yeah, um, nice to meet you. So from last year, when we did our mm -hmm. demo, uh, what do we have uh, updated this year? So last year it was Switchlight, yes. but now this year it's Beeble. Okay. And last year it was a local downloadable app, uh -huh. but now everything runs on your web browser. Okay. So you don't have to download anything. You can do all relighting that you want to do in your web browser. Okay, that's awesome. So yeah, let's see how this works. Yeah, so just go to Beeble.ai, mm -hmm. and when you do is, let's say you have a green screen footage. Okay. And what we do is we let you change the lighting on this green screen footage because when you composite with your new background, and when the lighting doesn't match, it can look really bad if the lighting is bad. But now you have the ability to fix that in the post. Mm -hmm. So when you upload it, this is about 15 seconds of footage, mm -hmm. and our AI will automatically generate alpha map to remove the background, and also generate all sorts of VFX passes to relight you in the post. Mm -hmm. so, and this is your AI model that's analyzing yes, the footage? Yes, it's completely yeah. the, our AI model. Okay. So base color map is kind of removing the existing lighting source. So it's okay. removing the green spill, it's removing the shadow and so on. Normal map shows you what the geometries of your subject uh -huh. so that when we cast the light, we can physically calculate how the shadow should be in okay. the real world. And like roughness map tells you how rough or smooth your texture is okay. so that smooth parts will have like specular reflections when there's point light added later. So you can you don't have to know all these passes. But what you can do is just go to our editor, and now it's completely black because there's no light. But now I can add a light and relight this footage in the post. So and I have, the video is playing back while you're relighting too. Yes, exactly. So it's very very fast and very light. You can just you know increase the intensity. You can change the color of the lighting. You can add multiple lights here, and you know set up different colors for every single light. And since this is a 3D editor, I can change to 3D view and maybe even put the light in the backside. So it's kind of casting a backside light. Okay. Uh, That's very awesome. And now, so you've added some additional lights. What about an environment? Environment is a very good question. So what you normally do is instead of using these point lights to relight it, you would want to kind of upload a backdrop. Mm -hmm. For example, let's say you want to composite this shot into this backdrop. Mm -hmm. What we will do is automatically analyze your backdrop and create a 360 light mm -hmm. so that it will light your subject up correctly. Uh -huh. So it's like an automatic compositing tool that lets you relight, remove background really, really quickly. So this is the result. And if you compare it with like before, without the relighting, it looks uh -huh. really bad. You can see the green split and everything. Yeah. But with the relighting, it looks so much better. And this works for all sorts of backdrops that you can do. So let's say you want this neon lighting. It's uh -huh. going to give you this lighting. Let's say you want this you know, soft red light coming from the left side. You can do this as well. Going back to the footage, mm -hmm. is there what kind of footage can you import? And then I'm guessing, is it a process when, once you get your relighting done, do you export from yes. the web app? So that's a very good question. First, you can upload two types of footages. OK. So left side, raw image, raw video. You can upload. PNG, JPEG, WebP, MOV file, MP4 file, in a ProRes codec as well. And okay. on the right side, let's say you don't want to use our background removal. You want to do the key on yourself. Mm -hmm. So you can unload pre-keyed image sequence as a PNG file. So okay. this is the unloading part. Yeah. And So like if you already have a keyed in a separate app, you don't want to yes, use people's yes, key. Or exactly, you can, okay. exactly. You can just bring in a keyed image sequence. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So that's a very powerful feature when you want controllability. Uh -huh. And let's say you have a satisfactory result. You can immediately export the result as an MP4 file or a PNG sequence in a zip format. But what's even better is that professionals, mm -hmm. VFX professionals, want to use these VFX passes mm -hmm. because these passes are compatible in all sorts of compositing tools and uh, 3D softwares mm -hmm. like Blender and Unreal, After mm -hmm. Effects, and Nuke. So what you can do is that, click this button right here download VFX pass, and it will give you alpha map, normal map, base color map, so that you can just you know, use it in any software that you want to do. So for example, we have a Blender add-on. Mm, and if okay. you download this, and, and also the zip file uh -huh. that has all the VFX passes, you can immediately import the footage into a 3D software. Okay. And this will let you completely 
make your 2D footage interact with any 3D lighting. So everything we just have. saw on the web portal we can do inside Blender? Yes. Okay. And since Blender has so much, you know, power mm -hmm. compared to our web editor, you can actually do complex things like animate your lights to make, you know, light flashing in a really fancy way, mm -hmm. or even like turn on cycles, which is path tracing. And this will let you really mimic the physical lights mm -hmm. of like bouncing lights and so on. Yeah. Uh, I remember I asked you this last year, but what would be your ideal way that you light a subject when you are filming uh, a person to That's a great bring it question. into this workflow? So our AI was also trained on very harsh lighting as well. Okay. So it's pretty robust, but if you want the best result, I would say just a normal lighting where there's lights coming from like a lot of directions. Mm -hmm. So actually right here where there's like, you know, white lights on the front, mm -hmm. this is a pretty good setting. Yeah, okay. And seeing the imagery lighting uh, and, you know, if you have kind of a green screen or it's like not the best looking green screen, but, mm -hmm. uh, you know, do you have pipelines that you see happening with a lot of more of the um, virtual production tools? Uh, with phones or a phone coming into your camera? That's a really good question. So since now you don't need physical lights, uh -huh. and since you don't even need a real background, um, you can basically do virtual production here. Mm -hmm. And now let's say you have a camera tracked footage, which can be shot on an iPhone mm -hmm. because they have AR kit. You can basically have a virtual production without LED wall, without fancy cameras or anything. So this is an example that we have. So this shot was actually shot in our office. Mm -hmm. Left is how we shot it, using iPhone and okay. a gimbal. And you're just sitting in a chair. Yes, okay. there's no green screen. This is the real-time preview of what iPhone viewer is seeing. Okay, and so this is you in a, like a 3D scene? Yes, Okay. so we can just upload, shoot in a Porsche car. And then now what we do is we upload everything to Beeble. We mm. export all the VFX passes to Blender. And inside Blender, you can do this crazy compositing with fake Porsche car, fake lighting. Uh -huh. And fake, this is all video wall in the behind playing. So you can basically make a commercial without all okay, the Okay, so stuff. you filmed it, ran all the processes through Beeble, yes. and then did the final compositing in Blender. Yes, exactly. Yeah, okay. You can also do this in Unreal. In Unreal as well, yeah. okay. Uh, that's fascinating. Thank you. Um, cool, and what's the kind of availability with the web app, and um, how does the pricing gonna work? Right now it's completely free, because we launched two weeks ago. Okay. We're still in a better period for our web app. But we're going to switch to a subscription-based model. Uh -huh. So right now it's going to be about $59 for processing up to five to 10 minutes of footage, 10 minutes of footage. Uh -huh. And you will be able to get all the VFX passes, including inside that 10 minutes of footage. Yeah. And after that, relighting and exporting your relight real footage, it's for internet. Because that's we a, only that initial processing. Yeah. That, okay. Because that's not additional processing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Well, thanks so much. And appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for this video. Thanks again to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible. For more NAB videos, be sure to check out our playlist right here. I'll catch you in the next episode.